So right now I'm making the Hulk's hair. I have a tendency to hold my breath when I'm making hair because I feel like it keeps my my hands and my body steady so I can get that smoother line. Hey Matt, how are you? So usually when I ink, uh, I like gliding the brush onto the paper. Instead of putting the tip of my brush onto the paper, I like gliding into paper. That way the beginning of the brush line will be a, a nice point. And the ending of the brush line will also have a nice point. Look at all these uh, wrinkles on the Hulk's head. So many. Are you inking directly on the pencils? Yes, right now I'm inking directly on the pencils. So this is a commission piece. Uh, like I mentioned before, I'm working on a 10 page spread uh, over Paolo Palantina's pencils and I'm making directly over the pencils. So I'll ink in those parallel lines and then I'll go back and I'll close them up to make those look like a nice taper line. And all while inking, I'm also thinking about the pressure that I'm putting onto the brush. Of course, the more pressure I put on it, the thicker the line will be. The lighter I glide the brush across the paper, the thinner the line will be. That way you can control how thick you want the lines and how thin you want the lines with a nice sharp brush. I like using this uh, brush pin because for me, it gives me a really sharp tip. I don't have to uh, fuss around with clean cleaning the brush all the time compared to some of those um, Windsor Newton brushes because those are made of uh, horse meat. This one is a synthetic brush, so it stays sharp a long time. Uh, thank you, Anthony. Uh, and let's see any other questions. Yep. Hey, Walden, great work. Jack, thank, thank you, thank you uh, John. So this live video, I'm just going to ink the Hulk's uh, head. So once this head's done, I'm going to end the video. So if any of you guys have questions or comments about inking or anything in general, I'll be more than happy to answer them. I 
I prefer pushing into the dark areas. You should be able to, when you're inking these, these taper lines, like what I'm doing here, I like pushing into it. But uh, that's only because I'm more comfortable doing that. But to be a good inker, you should be able to push in as well as pull out. For example, here, I'll turn this around. I'll ink in this line and I'll pull out into those taper lines like this. You know, go back and I'll close them up a little bit. Turn them and then close them. Make it look a little bit nicer. So once you are done inking, do you use any eraser to get rid of all the rest of the pencils? Does this dull the inks? After inking over original pencils, I do erase what's underneath and sometimes it does dull the inks and I usually I'll go back there and re-ink some of the areas. Areas that uh, gets dull, I'll go back in there and re-ink it, uh, re-spot the areas that are black and then uh, make it nice and rich. For comic book production, it doesn't really need to be uh, super black because when you scan it, you can always uh, adjust the levels in Photoshop and then it will get black. Uh, uh, but when I do the ink, I like the art to be really black just, just so the original looks nice. Let's see any other questions? So far. Now I'm going to ink the, the holding line of the Hulk's head. The holding line, I like to uh, make that line a little bit thicker. Thicker than uh, some of the inside lines. While I'm making the holding line, I think about where I want the lines to be thicker. And where thinner. So think about light source. Notice I'm flicking the brush a lot. Yes. 